I95.5 FM presents Inside Insurance. Listen now as John Gill teams up with Guardian Group insurance experts to tell you all you need to know about insurance. Here now is Inside Insurance. Seven minutes after the hour of three o'clock in TNT, and welcome to Inside Insurance, brought to you with the kind compliments of Guardian Group. And uh, today we're going to be talking tax um, pensions, and in particular the tax breaks that go along with pensions, especially coming to the end of the year, where you can utilize those tax breaks to minimize your income tax and so forth. And in studio with me this afternoon, I have none other than um, Mr. Calvin, uh, Calvin Mendez. Oh God, I don't know why I forget him. No, Calvin. Calvin Mendez, assistant manager at the Dale. Um, you know, now I say Dale. Yes, yes, Dale. Enoch, yeah. come to my head, <laughs> and it's not Dale. Right, right. Dale, Dale, Dale McLeod's <laughs> uh, <laughs> branch. <laughs> um, so, want to welcome you to the studios of I ninety five, Calvin, thanks, John. and you, welcome you've me for so long. I mean. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, boy. I don't know, boy. Oi, <laughs> it's what a hell it? of a thing. <laughs> right. So, welcome to the program, Inside Insurance, brought to you with the kind compliments of Guardian Group, and uh, we have our Guardian Group expert here, Mr. Calvin Mendez, as I said, as assistant manager of the Dale McLeod branch of Guardian Life, and we're going to be talking. Annuities, in particular, the tax, tax um, benefits that you can get from yeah. uh, annuities. So let's jump right into it. And um, of course, you think we need to explain to people that what's an annuity, boy, Calvin? Um, I actually, think str- strange enough, a, a lot of people always tend to ask me that still, mm-hmm. you know, exactly so what, maybe we should explain what is an annuity. An annuity. Yeah. And um, now, an annuity is normally very much um, misunderstood and it's always mixed up with a pension plan. So they call annuities pension plan, but actually it's not. I mean, annuities are very different from pension plans. Mm -hmm. Pension plans have restrictions on how much your your pension could be, whereas annuities are the only form of um, actual, well, the only form, the only product that will actually give you a guaranteed source of income for life. You cannot outlive outlive. an annuity so you have pension plans but you have annuities that actually is like a a pension plan on steroids right so they (laughs) serve the same purpose that is retirement that is retirement providing income for retirement correct so however the traditional type pension plans like um not wanting to call other companies but more the the, some of the state companies Mm -hmm. the older companies you would have a pension plan i mean and that actually some people don't know that your pension is actually restricted to only two-thirds of your final salary Mm -hmm. um now if you ask anybody to take a a salary cut of a third third, right now no no, nobody could is willing is willing to do that because you already have your lifestyle based on on that level so annuities now give you a hundred percent salary placement ratio actually or more or, or more or yeah. more because it again it depends on what it what you put into it right. is what you get back get, get yeah. back out of it and so of course it's also a good way to, to supplement your pension income your pension and so forth. income yeah. so even the people who actually have pension plans with their companies um they need to actually find out exactly what type they have and if they do have a pension plan and not an annuity plan then you need to talk to your advisor and sit down and say listen hey be, what this is telling me that there's a shortfall in my retirement I will have plan. A shortfall, yeah. There will be. So yeah. what you now have to do is now run something um, parallel to that. No, that, that, parallel that, to that, that yeah. will give you that additional yeah. to make up for that shortfall. Now, yeah. one of the benefits of annuities and pension plans is that they provide a tax break. That's right. Right. That's right. Um, but again, two the, one of the shortcomings of pension plans is that they are limited to a percentage of your salary. In terms of your contribution, in terms well, again on pension plans, right? There, there are you have defined benefits and defined contributions, right. and um, yes, so there are some of them that you you only limited on what you could actually right. put. Um, annuities does not give you that. Right. Annuities you can put as much as you want, but what comes with it is the benefit of a tax break. They right. both give you tax breaks. All right. So right. what is a tax break? Um, a tax break. I mean, we all know that we have to. Pay taxes, yes. P-A-Y-E, pay yep. as, as you, you earn, earn. and um, that th- that no one is exempt, exempted from that. 
um, well, let me just say no one is exempted from that because the, everyone has a personal allowance right. first and, of and all. It will, and it was recently recently rec- increased, increased in the last yeah. in the last budget, but, but it will be increased come in January. In January. January one. So right now your personal allowance is sixty thousand dollars. So anybody making five thousand dollars a month and less don't pay any PAYE, no taxes. Right. So I know that has been increased to seventy-two thousand dollars. So right. anybody making six thousand dollars, they don't have to pay any taxes. So you know what that also did just put a lot more disposable income into people's hands. Into people's hands. Now, um, the people who are over that, um, this is a, a tax break. Is something that you can now use to help reduce your taxes. So you don't pay all your money. So right now the tax break is twenty-five. Per- the tax rate is twenty-five percent mm-hmm. of of well basically anything, anything over. over. So what you can do now, the government allows you to take some money and put it away for yourself in certain things. One of them being pension plans and mm-hmm. annuities. And they have been increasing that over the years. Uh, it w- right now it, it was at $30,000. The last administration increased it to $50,000. So for 2015 is the first time every, now somebody can now claim up to $50,000. Meaning you can put up to $50,000 a year into an annuity and have that written off against your income. So in other words, if your personal allowance Correct. is, is 60,000 60, 60, right. and then you, you are able to put aside that 50,000, which is about 400 and something dollars a month. That's 4,000. Yeah. Well, 50,000 is a lot for some people. So right. let, let's take it from this calculation. It, let's say somebody is making $8,000 a month, which kind of takes you roughly around well, hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year. Let's just say a hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year. So your first sixty thousand dollars, you don't pay any taxes on that. That is a, a, a tax write off. Right. Now you still have forty thousand dollars that you have to pay taxes on. Right. Now let's say you take out an annuity for a thousand dollars a month. Right. That's, that's twelve thousand dollars. So you now move down. You take that. You know you don't have. That's twelve thousand dollars. You don't you have, have to, to pay, pay any tax taxes on. on. Yeah. So it's like you taking money out of one pocket. Put it in, a other, in your other pocket for savings. For savings, and the government is not taking twenty five percent of that. that. Yeah. So, now, and that's just using the analogy of one thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Yeah. Now you can go up to four thousand because that is four four thousand forty eight. Yeah. Maybe that's four forty one hundred dollars. I think yeah. is so fifty thousand dollars a year. So you can now go as high. Well, you could go as much as you want, eh? yeah. because. The, uh, the main objective for annuities and pension is not just to give you a tax break. It's actually for retirement planning. Yeah, that's but right. But you, you get a benefit so pr- from, um, doing it. from doing it. Yeah. So uh, that's what a lot of people, you, you kind of miss that too. People say, hey, I want to do it for the tax break. Right. And the other thing too is, for like, example, people who receive bonuses, you can actually correct. put your bonuses yeah. into, because one of the facilities of an annuity, if I'm correct, That's is that right. you can make lump sum deposits. You can make lump sum deposits. So um, if you get a, a $20,000 bonus, that you would have been taxed. Taxed. You, you can, can put it into, into an annuity. That's right. Now, up, up, up to, again, up to $50,000. That's right. Now, that, now th- there is another type of annuity that actually could accommodate more than $50,000. But that, that is a... That's a different one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, we, we could get to that. If we right. have some time, we could touch okay. on it. <laughs> right. So, it. so the allowance is 50000 So if people receiving bonuses below 50000 you can actually put that into annuity as a lump sum and, and save it for your retirement without it having it taxed. Without having it taxed. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. So yeah. how do you determine the amount of annuity premium that you should pay based on your stage of life? Well, you see, it, it comes down to, like I said, the purpose, the real purpose of a pension plan or an annuity is to provide you with a pension, an income, and not just an income, a guaranteed income for the rest of your life. That is what the plans were des- originally designed for. Um, to entice you or encourage you to get involved in those plans is when you actually get a tax break, so it makes it a lot more attractive for some people. Now, it depends on how much years you have towards retirement. Mm-hmm. So that is done on an individual basis. You'll have to sit with some with, with your advisor and say, listen, I am currently making ten thousand dollars a month, and you know, based on I'm getting a three percent increase every year. So what what we can do, your advisor could actually calculate what your pension, what your salary would look like at age 60 or age 65 <laughs> at that point. And then you now say, well, listen, if I'm making $15,000 at age 65, I want to make sure that when I 
stop working and get my pension is he quits at, 15, least, at least fifteen thousand dollars. So it, you, it, you need to actually do a calculation with your advisor, and then we will calculate and tell you, well, based how on how what much? you want, these are your goals. This is what I want to do. This is the standard of living I want to maintain. And, and this is what it's going to cost and you. And this is what it's going to cost you. Now, right. some people want to believe that because you only start doing that when you're in your late 40s or early 50s. That, that's not what retirement plan is. What retirement plan is one of the first things you should do when you start working. Yep. Because it costs you less. It costs you <laughs> much, much less. Much less. At a twenty five year old putting two hundred dollars a month into an annuity to get maybe <coughs> thirty thousand dollars a month pension. Right. A fifty year old will probably have to put I don't know, maybe I'm just thousands, maybe, uh, uh, thousands of dollars yeah, yeah. just to just get to achieve these, that the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Because annuities work with time yeah. and compound interest. That's right. So now can someone claim more than the fifty thousand dollars on an annuity? Yes, we we, we, we kind of touched on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a section in the Income Tax Act um, called the One Thirty Four Six B. So anybody could actually the analytical people right, could go out and research that. Mm -hmm. And companies design plans around that, which states that you can claim up to one third of your chargeable income or twenty percent of your gross. Mm -hmm. Um, so what does that mean? So that is that that actually is designed to the the higher income brackets, yeah. the the managers, the executives, yeah. people holding $30,000, $50,000, thousand dollars, which oh, really and truly yeah. you're making that kind of money and fifty thousand dollars not denting your yeah. you're not even denting your taxes. So what do you do? You start looking at those type of annuities, which is where the big bonuses. Comes come in, in. yeah, you because then those kind of people earn in hundreds of thousands of dollars as bonuses. And bonuses. So the government created that type, that little that window that said, "Here, what you, you well, your chargeable income will be the income that you pay taxes on." Right. So after they do the maths, calculate it, come down with that. They say, "Okay, here, what if your chargeable income is three hundred thousand dollars, you can put up to a hundred thousand dollars into this type of annuity." Of course, it must be approved by BIR. Right. So there's a process. So it's not something like, it's not like the regular annuity. You just put a right. thousand, four thousand. You claim fifty thousand dollars. That one is done a little different. You have to submit some stuff to BIR. They have to actually approve it first of all. Make sure it's above board. Make sure the income is above board, and then only then you can actually you can start actually making start contribution. contribution. The, the difference with that one though is that that policy is actually owned by the employer. Oh. Okay. On behalf of the of employee. The employee. All right. So let's just say I-95 as a company and they want to provide a pension, a retirement, a farm retirement plan for John Gill. Mm -hmm. They will own the plan. But so your name is on it. It is for you. They cannot give it to anybody else. But, but, but you personally, right, yeah. you personally cannot make the contributions. You have to instruct the company. company I'm expecting X amount of monies and bonuses. Don't give. Don't pay that to me. I don't want it. The plan. Put that into the plan because once it goes to you, taxes apply. Yeah. All right. Now, how does this benefit the employer, though? Well, in in, in a lot of ways, actually, it does. Um, they did a study recently that. Um, the last well university students at uh, university student at the age of 25 by the time he reaches age 35 would have changed about nine to ten jobs right <laughs> so there is no again there's no such thing as employee loyalty yeah. anymore in this generation so employee uh, employers need to do things to build morale and keep keep employees keep employees and people are not necessarily leaving just because of salary they're looking at benefits yeah so one you get to increase um employee loyalty um boost their morale um from a tax break perspective all those things it, they are tax write-offs for the company full full amount. full amount all employee benefits whether you're taking a health plan for them um group life can be written off can be written off so again yeah um you're saving money um in the process while you're providing um benefits for your employees so Right. Yeah. So to go, to go into that a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit more. Um, again, all those plans that need to be actually um, approved by BIR, the company must agree to it. They are portable, even though it is owned 
by the employer your annuities especially that type that 134 6 b plan actually can be mm-hmm. transferred to another employer so it's not a say i-95 bought this for john gill and when john if john gill chooses to leave the company they keep it right it doesn't work like that it, it's it was it can, it's just transferable it is transferable you can walk with so it is deemed that it is for you know, john gill mm-hmm. um, you know the other thing about annuities calvin mm-hmm. is that um the more people that take care of their own pensions it reduces the burden on the state as well that's right and and that's why they give you the tax mm-hmm. break um that's right. you know they help you not to be a liability to them so yeah. um that's why they give you that full that hundred well 25 well 100 percent tax break on what you put which right. equates to the fifty thousand yeah. dollars um because i mean when you think about it some people think yeah when i get old i get old age pension well, it's pension, pension really is three thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what can you do right now? If you go from a, a income and, and a modest income now of let's say ten thousand, and then you drop from that to three thousand, three thousand five. That, that's your grocery yeah, bill right it. now. Yeah, uh, uh, probably a, a newly married couple. Their grocery bills right now is is about three thousand yeah. uh, dollars, or, or more, or more, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or more. All right, so we're going to take a short break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to take your calls on the issue of tax breaks and annuities. We'll be back right after this. You love. Who do you think about? Plan for. Want to protect. They are the reason to choose Garden Life's pension solutions. If you love them and want to plan your future, call us today and let us help you show your love. Guardian Life of the Caribbean. Live long. Live easy. 